Hi there YouTube, it's Melissa and I am going to do a video here quick to show what I am going to be using for my next layout. I was inspired by um, a lot of layouts that I've been seeing online recently regarding um, big titles and how the big title dominates the layout. Uh, Shelly Bailey, um, Shelly B140 or um, I want to say Shelly's Crafty Life, it's her YouTube channel. And anyway, so she did a bit, she did a layout recently and it was beautiful and she used a title as like a pretty big feature on her page. And also I saw a handful of people that have done it recently, um, um, Raquel Bowman and some Paper Smooches design team members and so on. So between Pinterest and the newsletter updates I get, I just thought, oh, I like this idea. And I did a big title page not last year, but the year before for Christmas, and I loved it, so we're gonna go with that. Um, Amy R, she has um, a YouTube channel called um, Prairie Paper and Ink, maybe? She's posted a haul the other day, and she posted um, a stamp that she bought from Simon. And originally I was gonna go with a quote or something along the lines to do with my one little word, and I decided that I would probably do a separate layout for that but she bought a stamp and the stamp was so cute that I copied that quote and it says because when you stop and look around this life is pretty amazing and I just love that and so I cut it on white with my cameo and I'm hoping to back it up with this wood grain maybe cut this down a little bit I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna go with that but I was inspired you know my my good old go-to being inspired by design team or designs that other people have done and this is a Lori Whitlock here and now from Echo Park it's probably pretty old but I loved all the colors and it really you know I just thought it was a perfect way to start a cover layout because this will be my cover layout for my 12 by 12 size family album for 2016 so I pulled some scraps from my stash some Stampin Up ones and just some hodgepodge of scraps that I hope to incorporate. Um, there's this one, you know, to bring in some of the pinks, green, maybe some turquoise. I'm not sure yet. Um, I have this old pad from Stampin' Up that has some 6x6 six six that I might be able to use. And then I also pulled a handful of my scraps because with my title being so dominant and taking up so much space, I don't know how much room I'm going to have. So We'll just see what happens there but so let me pull my page out so here is the layout itself and I printed these two photographs which I took on New Year's Day the first and I'm gonna do something like this probably back you know I don't know so I printed them in black and white so I could have the flexibility to do whatever I wanted as far as the background but I really like yeah I like this and we're gonna see where it goes so thanks for watching and I'll be back bye hi there YouTube it's Melissa and I'm back with my layout share I love the end result of this page so and it was you're not even gonna believe how easy it was so here is an overview and as you can see there is hardly anything added to this because I really wanted my title I wanted this to be this and this to be the focus so um, I didn't want too much else but that being said I know I shared with you a handful of scraps that I was going to be using like out of here that's basically all I used I pulled some gold washi polka dot washi which I believe this is from Stampin Up and just strips of paper here that's it just glued them down they're acting a little wonky because I've played with them a little bit I probably should add some more glue I did the same thing down here I backed this all I cut a half an inch off two sides and I backed it on some um, like teal wood grain paper and then for here all I did was I when I like a lot of times I like to do this where I tuck papers just behind as I go so I folded a piece of vellum um, back there and added some hot glue right in the middle to give it some stability and then I pulled out my scraps again just little bits and 
I just tucked them in small little bits underneath here that's all I did this um, welcome 2016 stamp is let's see the welcome is from here this welcome baby which is a little lovin from paper smooches and the 2016 is from this Allie Edwards right here and this is called great memory and then um, so I added some gold thread behind my photo and I showed I, I know I spoke about that before how I kind of wad it up on a glue dot and then jam it where I want it to go um, these two pieces like this is a piece of flair I don't know where it's from I apologize I have such old flair that I kind of yeah I don't know and this I don't know either I'm sorry um, although this uh, I made that and how I did that was one of my scraps was this I'm sure it's from crepe paper uh, and there was a I'm not guessing these are plates or what have you and there was one here and so in the middle of it I stamped the word us I just covered up the from and stamped us and then I covered it with an epoxy bubble I have these epoxy stickers that I buy online eBay whatever you want and that's how I made that so basically this says love you 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 love 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 and us and that's it super simple and I love it so if you have any questions uh, yeah feel free to ask me I I did back this title up in a um, behind it I backed it up in like a lighter blue but I like the feel of the turquoise. It's soft. It, you know, I don't know. It's fresh. It's all everything. All these colors are fresh, and you know, it's exactly what I feel a new year should look like: fresh, clean, white, and just very to the point. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.